Hello, Stingray109 here, back, finally, for real this time. I've gotten all settled in, I'm ready to go. And, speaking of ready to go, let's play some racing games. Now, this is Need for Speed, Shift 2, and I've got some rules that I personally follow for this. I have to complete one of the championships per section, 100%. Uh, if I crash my car, I have to then sell it and get, and buy a new one. I can't keep it if I've crashed it and it's unusable in the race. And last but not least, if I don't crash my car and quit out of the race and then go sell it, I have to complete every race. I cannot restart the race if I accidentally do something and I'm not going to win. That's how racing works in real life. That's how I'm going to do it here. So, I guess nothing else to say. Let's get straight into this. Let's set in some times and see what I get. All right, they're gonna get two laps to hit some target times. I'll be watching, and when you're finished, I'll have some settings for you. I'm using a controller for this, because I don't have enough room for a wheel, so it's not gonna be okay, perfect. Okay, it's best to enter corner slow, then accelerate hard out. And yes, I will re leave the racing line on, because I like that. I like it. I don't actually follow it, though. It's just a reference. Well, I fucked up. This isn't going to be a fast lap. I can already tell that. Sick, man. Well, I already completed two, even with a shit lap like that. Okay, this one, this one I feel is gonna be good. Whoa, you gotta be smooth with throttle and steering. I am being smooth. Actually, I'm not. I'm being very violent. Okay, this is gonna be good. Not so bad for a beginner. Okay, Who are you we're gonna lock in your settings for the race. If you like what you see, let's go do some racing. Pro? Oh, no, no, not elite. Leave it on pro. Leave it on pro. There we go. Two laps, eight opponents, dusk. Just race. I hate these loading screens. Sick. This is a nice turnout. We got some Porsches, some Corvettes, couple of GTRs, some real track day weapons out there. So finish strong, and you'll earn enough to buy your own car. Okay. I will finish as strong as I can. Alright, this is it, man. Go get him. That all you gotta say. Good.
Oh. You stupid bastard. I'm gonna get you for that, Corvette. I screwed up that corner. You're not gonna get away from me. Last lap, you got this. Oh. Come on now, nope, don't spin. All right, try to find a good rhythm through the S's. Yeah. Uh, understeer. Alright, man, you're doing it. Pulling wide. That's it, man. Okay, you're got it in the there. bag. It's in the bag. Come on, yeah. bring it on home. Nice work. You look awesome. That actually got tense at the beginning of the second lap. I have to admit that that got tense at the beginning of that second lap. There are plenty of cars in your budget. You've got some nice options. Okay. Now. I don't want a V8. Uh... Four-wheel drive... It's nice to have four-wheel drive, but mm, I've never been a huge fan of Audis. They're way too front-heavy. Even the TT, their engines are like pushed as far up against the front grill that as you can get. So they're they're not that good at handling, really. BMW. Rear wheel drive, front straight six. It's decent, but uh, doesn't have enough low end torque, I don't think. Yeah, 5.3 seconds to get to 100. Is that in kph? I think it's in kph. Uh, cobalt. Now, it's front-wheel drive, but front-wheel drive is okay. Eh, that's a pretty pathetic acceleration, though. And top speed. But handling is pretty dang good on it. It's got good handling. Most front-wheel drive cars do, but I don't think the... That, that amount of handling is going to make up for the lack of speed and acceleration. Focus ST. Now, that's got even worse acceleration, acceleration, but it's got a higher top speed. It's got really bad handling, though, and it, that's because it's a very powerful front front-wheel drive car. So, that compromises the handling of the front-wheel drive system. Civic. Classic old Civic. It's de they're decent cars. They are. But, again, front-wheel drive. Same hand, same acceleration as the ST, but a lot lower of a top speed, and even worse handling. So, mm, not really my cup of tea, I guess. But the S2000, rear wheel drive, front engine straight for it, and it's, it's long. It's got good speed, decent acceleration, and relatively decent handling as well, because it's light. 
That one? I'm gonna consider that one. This... Uh... Ugh. It's too big. Again, like the V8 Audi, it's... Even though it's a 6, it's a very big 6, and... I don't think it's gonna work. Now, my favorite company, Mazda. MX-5. A lot like the S2000. Rear-wheel drive, front, straight, four. Except it's a little shorter. So, it's got... I think that's a little... Yeah, that's... It's worth handling. But... Actually, it's pretty shit acceleration as well. Mm. But they're really fun. <sighs> now the RX-8. That's... That's really fast for these cars. It's really good at handling. But I think it might be a bit overkill as well. Renault, again. Most of you Ameri of the American audience won't know what this is, but because it's not sold over here. But it's small little French hatchback. And it's decent. Again, not that good acceleration. Decent handling, though, and decent top speed. Most hot hatchbacks from France are like that. And Germany. Now, the Scion TC. This is actually a pretty decent car. If you're going up against similar cars, like these. Because it's got decent top speed mix. It's got decent mix overall. But, if you want to win easily, which, who doesn't, it's not the best. Say it. Again, something the American audience won't know what it is. It's basically a Volkswagen Golf. Underneath. Except for a lot less. Of course, they don't sell it in America, so that's besides the point. But, like I said, it's a Golf. It's just a Golf. So, nothing special there. <laughs> hey, the Golf GTI. Again, very good overall car. Actually, really very good overall car. Scirocco? Mm. It's actually a little bit better speed-wise, but handling the Golf is better, because it's lighter, I think. I'm pretty sure. But, out of all of these... I think... Hmm... I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's, uh... Let's actually start off with the S2000. Good choice, man. This is where it all begins. From here, you have the chance to do all kinds of racing. If you want to reach the top, first you have to make a name for yourself at the grassroots level. Try out different disciplines, like time attack or drifting. Don't like Soon drifting. you'll be ready for the GT3 or the Works Race Series. If you succeed there, you'll be ready for a seat in the GT1 World Championship. Those cars are fast. See these cool posters? They all hold events. And the numbers on each show the driver level you'll need to enter. You're starting at level one with entry level modern D cars. By the time you hit level 16, you'll be a full on GT1 World Championship driver. I think you've got some real talent. Let's see how far you can take it. All right, it's time to pick a race and get out there. So I'm going to end it here pretty okay, soon because let's a get you back on the track. You're a part of Modern D. We're starting out basic, but that doesn't mean starting out slow. Time to prove those skills, my man. Okay, like I was going to say, I'm going to end it here. It's been it's been a decent amount of time. And what I mean by completing one thing 
is this yellow bar here that says zero out of three that counts these three things inside of it. I've got to complete all three. Same with the rest of them. All the way through to GT1. And I might I might as well do Legends and I have no idea how to do drag. If you know how to do drag, then you can tell me. Uh, I might figure it out on my own. I might do that as well. But for now, Stingray109, signing off. See ya.